And EQ8, um, I, I chose a block and you can kind of see my block here was a rectangle uh, with the upper triangle inserted in. And the rectangle, the bigger piece was the high temperature and the smaller piece was the low temperature. So I created my plan, you know, my block and my plan. Um, I used EQ8 to orient the blocks in different ways to make the triangles come together in those diamond shapes in different places across the quilt. And then you can kind of see my snippet there of, I don't want to have, you know, 25 different fabrics sure. for my highs and lows. So based on the distribution of temperatures that I ran into, I plotted, um, here are the different increments. I came up with like 13 different increments. I had bought a fat quarter bundle of fabrics that I thought I wanted to use and thought it had a pretty good range of temperatures that would, you know, show how things were moving through the year and, you know, made myself a little key and said, okay, this is what I'm going to do with the range on a given day.